What's up everyone, my name is Soren Iverson. I'm a product designer currently working at Cash App, and today I'm going to walk you through how to use the scale tool in Figma. This is a simple tool, but Figma recently made some updates that make it a much more powerful feature. Let's dive in. The keyboard shortcut for accessing the scale tool is super simple. You just hit the letter K on your keyboard, whether you're on a Mac or a PC. You'll notice that when I do this, the cursor changes slightly when you hover over the edges or corners of a layer. If you click and drag on an element, you can easily resize it. There's another helpful keyboard shortcut when scaling objects. If you hold down the option key, when you click and drag, you'll be scaling an object from the center position rather than whatever the opposite anchor point is. Now that you know how to scale items with your cursor, let's look at anchor points and how they relate to scaling objects. Objects have what is called an anchor point, which is either the side, corner, or center that stays put when scaling an object. Let's look at this in practice. If I scale the object from the center anchor point, it will scale up or down from the center. On the other hand, let's say I want the bottom center to be the anchor point. To do so, I would select the opposite side, and if I click and drag down or up, you'll see that this bottom area stays fixed, but the top and sides change accordingly. If I want my left top corner to be the anchor point, what I would do is select the opposite corner, which is the bottom right, and again, I can scale up or down. This is difficult to keep track of without a visual reference. Thankfully, Figma recently made improvements to their design panel that make it much easier to scale items according to different anchor points. You'll notice if I select this layer, you look at the design panel, when I hit the letter K, everything beneath this layer is information disappears and is replaced with a section titled Scale. This is a new feature that allows you to scale an object with more control rather than simply clicking and dragging. First, you'll notice this box with arrows pointing in either direction. By default, it says 1x. This allows you to easily scale an item by any value that you want. If I select the drop down, I could easily double the size of this item, or I could reduce it to 50% of the original item size. If I have a specific sizing need, let's say 0.6, I can type that here, hit enter, and it will scale accordingly. One thing to note when changing the width or the height is that these properties will be constrained to each other, even if they aren't constrained in the layer panel above. What does that mean? If I change this to 600, you'll see that the width changes to 600, but the height doesn't. However, if I go to the scale area, both the width and the height will be adjusted accordingly, even though these properties aren't technically constrained. Finally, to the right, you'll see a box with nine selectable areas. This represents the anchor point that you are currently scaling the item according to. Let's say I change this to the top left. If I change the width here, it'll scale according to the top left. If I switch this to the bottom center, if I switch this to 600, it'll scale up from there and so on. This is a powerful way to quickly scale items in your designs, and it's especially helpful for people who might not be as familiar with the technical aspects of Figma. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I hope that you now understand not only how to use the scale tool in Figma, but also how to better use anchor points in order to quickly resize items in your designs. If you haven't already, please like, comment, and subscribe. Your support means a lot. I'm Soren, and I'll see you in the next video.